Hey guys, Ryan here from Mud Gunner, and I'm here with Mason from AR500, and we we got a steel plate to shoot at today, so he's gonna kind of talk you talk to you about it. Yeah, That's right. awesome. Yeah, I met Ryan from a friend of mine outside of work. Shout out to Alan real quick if you're watching the YouTube video, and you should be. Uh, and I figured we'd come out here, we'd shoot some plates. Ryan brought out some pretty awesome guns, uh, so we're gonna have. Uh, I figured we'd take this opportunity to shoot the plate with some rounds that you don't typically see them shot with. So uh, to talk about the plate briefly, this is just a level three plate. That's gonna be like your basic starting level. Uh, it's rated for six rounds at 308 at like 2780 feet per second. We're gonna shoot it with some stuff that we know it will stop. And then we're gonna shoot it with some stuff that we are not sure that it will stop, just to kind of show you guys how it is. And then uh, we can bring out the next level. I also brought a three plus uh, plate with us and we can shoot that one with the same rounds if they go through this and show you that the next plate up will stop those rounds. So. Uh, Let's start out and just shoot it with some normal 308. I think that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, we'll bump it up from there and try some M855 and stuff. Sounds good to me. Awesome. All right, guys, first we're gonna shoot it with just some 150 grain 308. Ryan's brought out his uh, Scar H. Uh, nice gun, right? Yeah, 16 so. inch barrel. Uh, and again, we're shooting uh, 150 grain. So let's see what that does. And we got a silencer co Omega on the end. Nice. But it's still gonna be loud because it's 308. Outstanding. All right, so I knocked the plate down, but should definitely have stopped it. They're shooting at like 20 feet, so. Oh yeah, there's your back right there. Little bit of back face deformation, tiny bit right there. You can kind of see it at an angle there. Yep, just slightly. And on your front, boom, that's it. Nice, looks good. Awesome shot placement, man, that's good. You would definitely feel that on the chest or the stomach though. Don't want to get hit by 308. All right guys, now we're doing that same level three plate. We're gonna put, uh, around a 7.62 by 39. I'm gonna be honest with you, I just kind of throw all my AK ammo into an ammo can, so I'm not 100% sure what grain this is. But we're gonna be shooting it through the Bren 2. Uh, this is the one with the nine inch barrel, so we should be pushing right about 2,000 feet per second with this. All right, let's give it a try. Cool. Look like a nice clean hit on there. See, is it top right? It looks like it. Let's check the back. Maybe. I love the straps to hold it together. They look like they've seen better days. Yeah. Yeah, they've been around the block a few times. All right, here we go. So no penetration, no and I don't see any bulges there. either. Feels... No, it's that's not fast enough. Nice. Oh. Sometimes it's hard to find those. Oh, there we go. That's a tiny yeah. little hole. Yep, and again, so now we know the holes right there. Look in the back. Pretty much no back face deformation. Nice. And we kind of expected that though. So let's uh, let's step it up and shoot something at it that it is not designed to stop and see how that goes. I got some green tip 556 five, and then I have some 762 by 54R out of a Mosin the Gaunt. So it may not be able to stop those, but at least we can test it out. All right, so now we have an Arsenal AK chambered in 5.56, and it's a 14 and a half inch pin and welded barrel. And I have one round, if it'll focus, I have one round of 8.55 green tip and one round of SS109 green tip. So both 62 grain with a steel core penetrator. All right, so keep in mind, guys, that these two rounds will typically defeat level three armor because it all comes down to velocity. I mentioned at the beginning, level three will stop six rounds at 308 at like 2780 feet per second. Normally, these rounds, are a little spicier than that. Uh, it just depends on the barrel length that we're pushing it out of. Because we're shooting it out of 14.5, uh, it's kind of hit or miss whether or not they're gonna go through. So we'll find out together. All right, let's check it out. All right. That is some that nice is spinners. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice, I think those went through. I see the sparks. Yep. The plate was smoking and I saw some sparks, so. Yeah, let's see, I'm excited. Yeah, it's hard to see any. Maybe. The front's hard to tell, because I mean, everybody either. wants to know, though, is what the back looks like. Well, uh, looky here. See, no, I don't see any holes. Nope, no penetrations, all right, not bad. 
I'm curious how the sparks show on the camera, but we saw sparks for sure. Yeah, so the sparks are gonna be from spalling and stuff hitting the plate, and since we already put two rounds on before this, We're that separating coating will start to come off a little bit. Yep. We're separating the coating a little bit. But that is what it's designed to do. You can see that's how that works, so it kind of directs it and captures it. There's a large piece right there. Yeah, I didn't see any penetrations, but again, man, it's it's hard to see, especially with 5.56. Five, I mean, you see how, how small that hole is for 7.62 by 39, and even 308, it's gonna be hard to find Yeah. 5.56 five, five, ones There's on There's a here. hole right here for that, sure. Yeah, that's our 308. And then... And then there's AK. Maybe right here? That kind of looks oh, like... Oh, yep, 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 one there. Tiny. Hmm. Yep. Oh, right there, just under the... Oh, under the label. Yep. Tagged it, all right. So Nice. There and there. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty close too. Awesome. Well, uh, you know what that leaves? Yep. Seven sixty two by fifty four R. Let's see. Uh, let's see if the Russians were onto something. Have you guys seen Enemy at the Gates uh, with Jude Law? I, I think it's Enemy at the Gates. Hope I'm saying my movies right. Um, but in the movie, he uses a Russian ninety one thirty uh, Mosin Nagant, and he uses it in the PU sniper configuration. And because of that movie, I wanted to get the gun, so I'll show you guys me shooting it right now. All right, so other than us switching sides on the camera, uh, we went ahead and grabbed another gun. This is a Mosin Nagant. I mean, you know, these are pretty ubiquitous. You can find these things everywhere, except he's got this super dope Russian sight on here. Oh, it's even got the hammer and sickle. Yeah, so this is like the PU sniper variant. So it's got the scope, and then it's got the bolt going straight down. So on a, mo on a regular ah. Mosin Nagant, the bolt goes straight out the side. This one goes down, and I think it was to help with the, uh, or it's to help with the scope. Yeah, yeah the regular yeah. one would hit the scope. Yeah. So. Sweet. And we got 7.62 by 54R. Yeah. I don't know exactly tip? what type of ammo this is. I'll probably have to Google it, but it has a yellow tip and it's not focusing because it's focusing on us. But there. So it's 7.62 by 54R and it's got the yellow tip. I don't know what that means. I don't remember. Send me that when you find out. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. All right. And again, guys, this is a level three plate. So 308 at like 2780 feet per second. This is pretty much like an equivalent to that, but you never know when you're converting over to this Russian stuff. The, obviously it's a little heavier green bullet. Um, I don't know the velocity at the top of my head is 72 by 54 yeah. r but... Uh, I don't know. It's coming out of a longer barrel too. We're so. gonna learn today. Yeah. All right, let's shoot it, see what happens. Feel bad for that plate. Oh. Hell yeah. Nice. My voice was louder than the <laughs> plate hit. All right. All right, that looked really cool from where I was standing, and uh, it definitely separated the coating. Yeah, that coating is gone. I think oh. it stopped it. Yeah. Wow. All right. That put a dent in it, but that that definitely stopped it. Outstanding. Yeah. Sorry, Putin. Not today. <laughs> nice. You might have a couple broken ribs. Yeah, that's not going to be a fun night for you, but. Wow. Better than having that go into your chest cavity. Yeah, that that is a bulge. <laughs> oh yeah. But so with even with that amount of back face deformation, a lot of people like talk trash about steel armor because of back face deformation. And hey, man, I get it. It's not for everybody. But just as a heads up, that's hardly anything. The NIJ standard for back face deformation is like this much, so the plate can deform like this much into your body and still be okay by the NIJ. Wow. So that's actually a pretty decent. I mean, it is steel armor, but so that's not bad. Survivable. Not going to be a fun experience. Wow. But better than dying. Yeah. Awesome. That did not look like fun. And here, here's the first part. And yeah, you can see all the cuts in it. That's where you don't want to get hit by those because, you know, if you're wearing a plate carrier and it goes up into your neck, yep. obviously you want this part intact. <laughs> I don't want slices there. Yeah, that's why raw steel plates are generally a bad idea. You can see that coating did a good job, though. All these, like, uh, striations and stuff on it are where it absorbed the spalling from the rounds. And, oh, again, nice. the coating did come off, but that was, what, five rounds? Yeah, that was 308, yeah, two, two big 2556, ones. 762 by 39, and, and then 762x54R. So that's pretty, pretty normal. You usually get about five, six rounds. Awesome. And trust me, if you... I, I have no experience in this, but I assume you don't want to be shot multiple times. If you're sitting there and just taking it to the chest and you're like, oh, why is this not stopping more? You should probably be on the move. Yeah, the whole point of armor in general is it prevents you from getting killed, taken out of the fight from that one first round of an engagement. Again, uh, there's a lot of like multi-hit plates and those are awesome. 
but the idea is not to get shot a whole lot, right? So yeah. move, get shot, move. Yeah, it's like one get out of jail free card if you're lucky, <laughs> a few if you're really lucky and just not making good life choices. Yep, do not pass go, do not collect $200. But cool, thank you for being on the video today. Thank you for inviting me out here to shoot. We yeah, had a absolutely. lot of fun. Yeah, hopefully next time we have you out, we'll do some, uh, some of the three plus steel and then we can do some of the lightweight stuff too, see how that goes. Yep, and then later in the year it'll be cooler because it's, it's like seven o'clock right now and it's still yeah. definitely over 100, maybe like 105. This is like our type of weather though. Yeah, you wake up in the morning and it's 100 degrees, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this, like the 80th day or 55th day in a row? It's been over 100 in Arizona, it's like a new record. Yeah. Outstanding. Sweating in the plate carrier, but it's actually really comfy. It's so. really more dirt gunner, I think, at this point. Yeah. Until there's some rain. All, all the, the mud runs and stuff are canceled anyway, so. If you didn't know, my channel's called Mud Gunner because I do mud runs, like Spartan Race Tough Mudder, and I shoot guns, so. Oh, I, think I it's thought pretty it was cool. just because you shot in the mud. No, not yet. Maybe one of these days. I want to do the tactical games. That looks like fun. Yeah. That looks like some shooting in the mud. You got to have one on this side of town, though. Unfortunately, yes. they're all like back east right now. But yeah, it's a great day at the range, and it is nice weather for what Arizona has to offer in August. So it's a good day. Awesome, but, hey, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoy, and hopefully we'll get some more content out soon. Thanks, bye. Sweet. Nice. Nice. That is a lot of fun, and it looks sexy. Yeah, those sparks are gnarly, too. Yeah. I like that.